Perhaps you could carry on with this absurd prattling in your own time? Well, Miss Brett? Oh, of course, dear lady, of course! How rude of us! I'm quite sure there's no need to detain you any longer at all. Hail Jesus! May the esteemed gentlewoman please be excused, your excellency! Hmm, indeed. The theft of the Kaban was clearly perpetrated by this baby saddled sergeant. I would certainly prepare to be unrelated to Dr. Whistle's murder. Exactly. That play is unrelated. Of course it is. Heading a coin under a lump of meat? The sheer nonsense of such an idea astounds me. N nonsense, is it? Uh, um, well, oof. As for picking up your steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork, it is beyond nonsense. It's pure madness. Very well. Now that all questions concerning this witness's testimony have been answered, I see no further justification for detaining her. Miss Brett, you're free to leave. Thank you, Your Excellency. Good luck, everyone. What? Are you no stay? What's the matter with you? There's no time for daydreaming. Oh, no, it's just... Something about Miss Brett's parting words there got me thinking. I can't quite work out what exactly, but something she said jarred with me. I feel like there was a contradiction in there somewhere. Something didn't quite add up. If that's the case, then don't stand there blinking, th thinking, blinking, and blinking, and thinking. Make your voice heard. Sorry? You can think later, but if you don't call out now, it'll be too late. The trial will be over. Wait, Miss Brett! What is it now? I'm afraid. Just one last time. There's something I'd like to ask you. I'd like to explain the contradiction in your parting words from just a few moments ago. What are you talking about? What contradiction? What new, what new student nonsense is this? Well, what parting words are you talking about, Brunosuke? Hiding a coin under a lump of meat? The sheer nonsense of such an idea stuns me. And as for picking up your steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork, it is beyond nonsense. It's pure madness. Oh, we're gonna say that it's, it's, it contradicts that because the steak that we have in the court record has clear bite marks. So, yeah, it's nonsense. She says it's nonsense, despite the fact that her steak, in quotation marks, has bite marks. Yeah, I've already... I got it. Yeah. Yes, I'm right. What she said there exposed an undeniable contradiction. I'm gonna need to just the evidence, counsel. If Miss Brett's words truly are contradictory, where is the evidence to prove it? Man, they're not even trying. They're not even bothering with it cross-examination. We haven't done a cross-examination in so long. The steak that Miss Brett had been eating before the professor was killed, yes. Go on. More accurately, Your Excellency, the steak that was on the victim's table just before the victim was killed. Now you're just splitting hairs! Not true. Doesn't something about the steak strike you as very unnatural? Unnatural? What on earth do you mean? It's extremely obvious. I'm talking about the shape of the edge where it has, where it's been eaten, e ugh, where it's been eaten. I see you've noticed it too, Miss Brett. Notice what exactly, Counsel? Just a few moments ago, uh, the sergeant guy probably switched the plates then, because otherwise the detective would be really incompetent. Just a few moments ago, Miss Brett claims. No Englishman could even contemplate picking up a steak and biting it in into it without using a knife and fork. Of course she did! She's a refined English gentlewoman herself! Then take a good look at this steak. In particular, the edge where it's been eaten. It has bite marks! As you can see, there are clearly defined barbaric teeth marks there. Oh. Oh. It looks like what Miss Brett has re it looks like Miss Brett has realized something. So, 
The witness, as she claims, wouldn't contemplate eating anything without using a knife and fork. There shouldn't be teeth marks in the steak at all. Brent, what is your actual point? Perhaps the delightful Miss Brent was ravenously... Uh, like, come on, guys. We found the coin under this steak, so... Whatever you say, dear lady. As I said, I really must be leaving now. Afternoon tea with the Minister of Justice cannot possibly wait any longer. Of course, of course! This will all be over in the blink of an eye! Rest assured, I'm about to put this rookie in his place! Just leave everything to... <sighs> I've heard enough. You're irrit you irritating little bespectable... spectacle samurai relic? Uh, of course! Dear lady! What's the matter, Briss Brett? Have we ruffled your feathers? And your bird? Ruffled your peacock and... You have a pie. bird on your bird, head. You have a bird on your head! <laughs> Clearly, the witness knows what this means. She's realized the catastrophic implications these teeth marks in the stake have for her. Ryunosuke, you know where you're going with this? Yes. Now at last, it's all come together. The mysterious teeth marks in the stake that had allegedly been eaten with cutlery... reason why the bloodstain I know I saw somehow seems to have disappeared. And most importantly, the evidence that proves once and for all who shot Dr. Wilson that day. I accept that these teeth marks in the stake are a little unnatural, as you put it, Counsel. But what exactly are you suggesting that tells us? Everything, Your Excellency. Everything! Yes, I believe that those, these barbaric teeth marks in the stake here amount to conclusive evidence in this case. Evidence that will pr prove beyond any doubt who shot Dr. Wilson. Conclusive evidence? How many times have I heard that today? You wouldn't know the meaning of that phrase. Typical Japanese empty threats. How can you be so sure? Oh, it's quite simple. If you really had such conclusive evidence, you would have presented it to the court long ago. Actually, the evidence I'm talking about hasn't been brought before the court yet. Hasn't been... What? But just because it hasn't been shown yet, doesn't mean that the evidence does not exist. This is absurd! The trial has run several hours already! And you say that there is evidence yet to be brought forward? There can't be! I don't believe you have it! And you're right! I don't have it, but there is someone who does have it. Someone in this very courtroom. A pervert. If that person is willing to submit that piece of evidence I'm referring to. It will solve every mystery, my, remaining mystery about this case. Very well. I have a feeling that this will be my last request of defense in this trial. Who possesses the conclusive evidence that will reveal the truth about this whole affair? It's you. It's you, pervert. The answer's obvious. It's Inspector Hosonaga. What? I... Uh, 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 I have it? Yes. You damn pervert. You, you think I've been withholding conclusive evidence? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <coughs> <coughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying that. Everyone's attention has been focused on this stake with the teeth marks. Yes. Now, earlier this afternoon, Sergeant Nosa said, told the court the following. I'd enjoy chomping my way through a good steak. And as well as admitting to stealing Korakuta San, uh, San's coin, he told us that he slipped it under the steak. You, you watch it, cadet. I'm a superior officer. Sergeant Nosa, could you please confirm something for me? Was the steak that you put the coin under, in fact, your own steak? Tension! Affirmative, of course. I might be a soldier in the Imperial Nippon Army, but still. I'm not brave enough to ask a foreign gentle lady if she'd mind me manhandling her meal to hide something in it. In other words, the stake that the detective submitted as evidence earlier was in fact Sergeant Nosa's meal. But, but that makes no sense! The plate was taken from the victim's table! Yet the gentlewoman doesn't take bites out of her steak, nor did she have any opportunity to steal the, the coin. Of course I didn't steal it. 
to even suggest such a thing would be an affront to the entire British Empire. Well then, how do you explain this paradox? Dude, this is so simple. Has the sergeant switched the two snakes over? Either that or the detective. I don't even have to... I didn't even have to do anything for that, did I? No. Oh shit! You, you did, did switch, switch the, the plate. plate! Oh the fuck! Dude! <laughs> like he just grabs the sergeant by the cuff and just... What the fuck is wrong with you?! Well, after it happened, the um... When I saw the civilian had been murdered right in front of my eyes like that, I panicked. As I said, I immediately lifted my stake and hid the coin underneath it. But then the waiter announced that he was an undercover policeman. I thought I'd had it. If he decided to investigate my side of meat, that'd be it. I'd be getting my marching orders. So when the cadet here was arrested and taken off to the kitchen, I seized my chance. Aye, bye bye. With military precision and timing, I switched my stake with the one the foreign lady on the foreign lady's table. What? You can't have I I never saw you do such a thing. It was called Operation Lightning Bolt. There was no time for strategic planning. It was do or die, I tell you. So yes, I did what I had to be done. Ah, unbelievable! However, fear not, pr prosecutor son. What now? I have the actual. No, no, no that was that wasn't intense. What now? I swear on the brass buttons of my uniform. That's all I did, sir. All you did, that's plenty, Sergeant. Hi. So, if Sergeant knows to switch the plates over, it means he took Miss, Miss Brett's steak and he, and the plate it was on back to his own table. Yes, that follows. Inspector, Inspector Hosonaga. Yes. Earlier in this trial, you told the court this. You said that, that you had not only taken Miss Brett's stake after the incident, but also the sergeant's. That to preserve evidence, you had taken both. Ah! That's correct. Then please present to the court now. The plate that was actually on the victim's table at the precise moment he was shot. What can that possibly tell us now? I mean, a cold slab of tough meat. I c it can't have the slightest bearing on the case. No, you're not wriggling your way out of the out of it this time, lady. I, I beg your pardon. Surely you're not that forgetful. Surely you remember the reason why the steak pan promises to prove such a problem for you. No. Hmm. You're the ones who decided it was a problem, not me. The reason the defense asked to see that plate was to confirm so something the defendant remembers seeing. Thinks he remembers. I'm quite sure of what I saw, Miss Brett. On that side of the plate, there was a t of the that was on the table directly behind Mr. Wilson. There was a clear splattering of blood from the gunshot wound to the victim's chest. I believe the defendant's memory serves him well. And now we have the evidence to prove it. The plate you were eating from, Miss Brett. Let us not prolong this any further. Inspector, you will show the evidence to the court. Present the beefsteak and plate that was originally on the victim's table at the time of the incident. Okay, so we're not making the... She's just a pervert. He's not incompetent. Okay. Yes and no. Sorry for keeping you. Dude! <laughs> Please, feel free to examine it. Well... The blood stain. It's clearly visible, yes. look. Now this makes everything clear. The blood you can see on the side of the plate shows us- shows that the moment the victim was shot, he was facing the table with his back to me. In other words, it's impossible for Naruto- Naruto-san to have shot the victim. Ah! It- 
It can't be! In fact, there's only one person who could possibly have shot Dr. Wilson from the front. I'm sure everyone knows by it now who that person is. Uh, um... That's right. Miss Giselle Brett. Is she, like, biting it with her teeth? Yeah. It's you! Do we get actually get to see her eyes? God, I hope so. I'm just wondering what, what we've been building towards this whole fucking... So far, the, the whole game so far. Outdone. By a Japanese... Me? By a Japanese school boy? No. No. No! Attorney. Please excuse my little outburst. I briefly lost my composure. 